Oh, what's going on, Toxic Gamers and Call of Duty Refugees? It seems like that a lot of people are really, really excited about Season 1 because Season 1 just came out for Black Ops 6 and people are loving it, people shaking, people are bricked up, except for the homie Blame Truth, right? Yeah, the homie Blame Truth is never happy. I guess that's an understatement because the video that I have for you guys today, oh man, you guys are not ready for this one. Thank you all for the amazing support on the channel. Let's go for two likes on the video. Shout out to the homie Blame Truth. Roll it. Take it away, bro. Let's start covering the bad news. What have yeah, they let's done? Do it. What, what have they let's done with do season it. one that makes this so bad? Yeah. Well, you're going to see it with this gameplay. I'm going to give you the full gameplay of the map Heirloom, the museum map. This is in the new map Mosh Pit thing they released. Okay. And I, I'm just going to say it. If, if you stretch for time, I'm just going to say it. These are the worst fucking maps ever we are, we have officially <laughs> entered into that territory man mike is never happy though but but is he lying though is he lying though Bruh. is he lying though the maps yes the maps are the biggest issue that's what i'm kind of like seeing across the board that maps are terrible in the game i i get that personally i've been enjoying the game but i even have to say the maps are terrible but okay let's continue let's continue let's before see. you say no man no nah, man bt no nah, man modern warfare 2019 had worse maps modern warfare 2019 at the very least, had Infinity Ward thinking about where they want to put the safe spaces and all the fucking True. doors in the map for little Timmy No Thumbs and Billy Go 57. They at least had some thought put into where to camp. There is no thought with yeah. Black Ops 6's maps. Yeah. There's none. We but, have but at least, like, like I, I personally have been enjoying the game, right? I think it's better than Concord and Dustborn. Right, guys? L let me know your thoughts. I wanna, I wanna know like wh what you be thinking, man. Because the way the homie is going, man, it seems like that he's high on cholesterol right now, though. Yeah, I I'm not, I'm not exaggerating. This isn't me being funny. I'm not trying to be funny. Are you laughing right now? Shut the fuck up. Cause I'm not trying to be funny. We have two good maps in the entire game, and one of them is 14 years yeah. old. Yeah. Nuketown <laughs> and Skyline, and I, I, I wouldn't call oh Skyline a classic God, by bro. any means. Oh it's playable. It's playable. It's playable yeah. It somewhat flows. It mm. somewhat resembles a map. Whatever this somewhat, is. Somewhat, yeah. I, I somewhat. mean, you saw the map on the loading screen. Look yeah. at this. I get it's a 2v2 map or whatever that you can play in 6v6. Damn. Why are there no flanks? Why? Chat GPT made this map by the looks of it. This whole game just spawn in, run to the middle, head glitch, maybe get a kill, maybe get a headshot. You die, you respawn, you do it again, you hear the little boop, 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 at the end to get yeah. your fucking dopamine at, at the end of the match. Doesn't matter if you win, doesn't matter if you lose, you can go 10 and 40 or 40 and 10, it does not fucking matter. Mm. Nothing matters! <laughs> it sucks! I feel like this is just scrolling TikTok the game, man. Like, now, I, to be fair though, like, I, I've said a million times already, the only way I'm enjoying this game is because, like, I, when I play, I'm usually, like, catching up on YouTube videos, watching podcasts, listening to, like, <laughs> podcasts, getting my dopamine that way, and I play the game behind the scenes, and I, I enjoy my time. For the most part, it's, like, one kill, one death, right? That, that's because of skill-based matchmaking. I do feel like that skill-based matchmaking has been a little kind to me this time around. I could be wrong, maybe it's placebo, maybe it's because like I'm not necessarily paying attention, so it doesn't necessarily affect me that much. It could be that because I'm like listening to podcasts and gameplay, for me is like secondary. I, I enjoy my time, like I I've been loving it, man. How many of you guys play Call of Duty and you catch up on YouTube videos or listen to podcasts in the background too? Like let me know, because without it, I cannot do it. So maybe the homie out here is playing Call of Duty only without like any other stimulation and he's not like feeling it, right? He's not feeling it because, and, and I get it, right? Like every other dialogue, he's probably hearing some like a friendly BBC inbound. Friendly UAV online. Friendly. I get that. I get that, bro. I get that. But you need to. But but, bro. Like he needs to. He needs to stop. He needs to have a better diet, man. He needs a sodium-free diet for the night because I'm worried, man. He hella angry. Like damn. He hella I, I angry genuinely right feel the same way I felt when I was addicted to Instagram a few years ago. I, I didn't know I was addicted to Instagram until I deleted it from my phone. And I'm like, man, I really want to check Instagram. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's why I don't have it now, by the way, if you don't okay. know. Okay. When you just like quit something cold turkey like that, you, you kind of realize like how fucking stupid it was. You know what I mean? Mm. I feel like if a lot of you quit this game for a week and just didn't play it, you'd look back on it and be like, what the hell? What is the point of this? Oh yeah, by the way, I just died to this guy because I thought he was a dead body. Oh my God. I, I, I don't yeah. like this game. I want to shoot these stupid 
non-binary we get it home so hey, hey hey whoa tranquilo papi now we get it you don't like it man <laughs> i mean i would be shocked if you like it man but but you have to agree right it's better than concord and dustborn right come on now man. it is better than concord and dustborn man it is better because right now bro Suckers are beefing though, like everybody, like this is like Blame Truth. Where is Blame Truth? I need to find Blame Truth. Blame Truth gotta be somewhere in the middle, right? Also in charge. I feel like that Blame Truth wouldn't be in there. He would be somewhere in the middle, but higher up there, right? He's like the in charge. He's telling everybody to like fight, 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 fight. So you got Call of Duty BBC writers, Call of Duty fanboys on the right here, uh, Call of Duty haters, Toxic Gamers, and Call of Duty refugees. Everybody like on the left right here. And Suckers are like beefing, 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 beefing. Everybody beefing right now, so yeah. I, I, to be fair though like this content is therapeutic it, it is therapy it is therapy for me it is therapy for me but really quickly though god i i i don't like this game i want yeah. to shoot these stupid non-binary masks in this display case yeah i will say this this map looks good it's like they took a picture of an actual museum and made it into a multiplayer map it plays like ass oh, but no. it looks good at least oh, it's okay. like a cardboard cutout of pamela anderson or something not the real thing. Nowhere close. I mean, it's flat as a board if you look at it from the sides, but from the front, it looks okay, I guess. I, I, I don't know, man. I guess Someone okay. help me understand what these maps actually are. I, I'm going to cut away, and I'm going to show you some gameplay. Now, with the map hideout, the match I joined, uh, it was... Brother hates the game, but brother got gold camel. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's like Call of Duty. Uh, that's Call of Duty players for you, man. Damn, that's crazy. Now I get it. Like the maps are actually not that good, though. Skill this match, freaking gotta go. Maps gotta be better. Outside of that, it's a pretty odd game, and zombies needs to feel more like zombies, cause zombies this year. I, I I'll be real, man. Zombies has been growing on me. It's definitely better than last year's, like Modern Warfare 3 zombies. It's better than Van Garbage zombies, even. But zombies. Per, to be fair though, I don't think we're ever gonna get zombies as good as Black Ops 2 or Black Ops 3 zombies. I'm talking about the original one because next year we're gonna be getting another Black Ops 2. Yay! You didn't know that well. Next year we're getting another Black Ops, guys. Next year we're getting another one, man. So it's just me shooting down choppers the entire time because it was a match in pro. I don't think we're gonna have like a, any. I, I don't think. I, I, yeah, I think this is like the peak Call of Duty. I don't think it's gonna get better than that. Because they these things took four years, and I do agree that for a four years Call of Duty game, this ain't it though. You know, it feels like a disappointment, and on a good day, it's like a six or seven out of ten. It, it, the game is odd, is what I'm trying to say. The game is odd. It's not anything impressive. It's not any. It's not trash either. Like the the homie Blame Trot is saying. I mean, subjectively, if you don't like it, hey, you don't like it. That's fine though. If you love it, hey, that's fine too. That's cool by me. I mean, damn, right? Like it's just a game, but. But honestly, for four years, Sekiro's expected better, at least for the multiplayer maps to be better, zombies to feel more like zombies. Because zombies is like mixed with Warzone and it got Warzone elements and that's like, that was the main criticism criticism for uh, from people that originally played Black Ops 3 Zombies that were looking to get a similar experience to Black Ops 3 Zombies in Black Ops 6, right? Not in terms of like remaster maps, but new content, but but zombies being as good as black ops 3 not necessarily a copy and paste but being as good as black ops 3 zombies but i guess those days are long gone because now we got warzone so warzone is basically their main main thing they gotta make sure because warzone got most amount of people right <laughs> that that's what they care about the most and it makes sense because that's where the money is at for them not necessarily multiplayer and zombies anymore i guess yeah they're gonna sell like a bundle or two maybe they're gonna add the homie blame truth as well with the with that, with that retweet helmet and what now maybe another like uh you know friendly bbc inbound or something like that but yeah yeah that, that that's it though that that about it that about it progress so uh i'm just gonna show you that in private match but let's actually cover that extraction map because that one's okay. actually bigger that one's bigger mm. i'm going to show you the moment i spawn in till the moment i see someone we're gonna put a timer there okay. Th this game okay. does not know how to find a balance between stupid dog shit with tons of head glitches down long sight lines and then complete brainless chaos there's no in between now, maybe I just got unlucky. The map's not that big, but I there swear to you, the entire thing is climbing on top of stuff and head glitching down long <laughs> sight lines. Look what I'm doing right here. You know, I, I killed this guy flanking up behind me because yeah, footsteps yeah. are kind of loud in this game. But regardless, 
you just get on top of something and aim. And yeah. this really highlights yeah. a big problem that no one's really talking about with this game. Uh -oh. Why uh -oh. do I climb stuff like a 90-year-old man with arthritis? <laughs> Climbing up over stuff is incredibly slow for a game where I am... My man literally offended all the 90 years old within like 100 miles radius there. <laughs> Come on, Blame Twin. What are we gonna do with you, man? Damn, man. I, I feel like that he didn't get Call of Duty points uh, from Activision. That's why he mad. That's why he mad. <laughs> That's why he mad. He need a sodium free dad. Real quick, guys. I wanna say if you do have Instagram, I would definitely love to have you there. If you have Twitter, X, links are always in the description, in the pinned comment. I would definitely love to have you there. I let you get back to the content here. But yeah, man, the night is still young, man. Let's see. I'm sliding across the map like I have doused my entire asshole in Crisco. Why? Is it so slow? What is the point of this movement system over advanced movement from Black Ops 3, for example? My guy was like complaining about small maps, and now he's getting mad about this. <laughs> and they finally drop a big map, and he's like, uh, where's everybody? <laughs> he's like, where's everybody? Uh, that That's wild, right? Because all the maps in the game, even, even I have to agree, right? Like jokes aside, though, the maps aren't that good, but I personally, prefer the the smaller maps over big maps you guys can disagree you guys can disagree if you disagree you can disagree feel free to disagree the reason i prefer the the smaller maps is because we've had so many bigger maps with infinity tart doors all that cheese all that crap like safe spaces would you rather that or would you rather like small maps i would go with small maps on top it's skill based matchmaking it has been thicker than usual thankfully to me i feel like that skill based matchmaking has been kind but it could be placebo like i said because i don't listen to game audio i just play the game while listening to podcasts right that's how i be enjoying the game without that stimulation maybe i would be like the homie blame truth as well maybe i would be some of you out there too that does not like the game man, yeah you never know you never know man but uh, right now i i'd be like enjoying the game for whatever it's worth and that's also uh, and there's another factor because like there isn't any other fps game that's new and that's good out there currently right the next battlefield game who knows that might that might not be that good who knows that might actually be a banger we're gonna have to see right and it's coming out by the end of 2025 allegedly they already confirmed it but they did not confirm when it's coming out if that makes sense but they confirmed like the next battlefield game has been in production they said it like a couple of years ago at this point and, and just a couple of months ago they said it again they revealed the first image as well you know the like the concept art with the battlefield logo in the middle kind of like that <laughs> uh, yeah so who knows right you never know man battlefield has been sucking ass too recently downloaded battlefield 2042 and kind of enjoying that game but i haven't played it since black ops 6 came out i'll jump back onto that as well and chill out for a second but Apple. infinite warfare advanced warfare like this is just a worse system because you climb so slow from ladders mm. to climbing up over stuff to mantling it's too slow mm. it needs to be faster <laughs> you have a perk that makes it faster at the very least <laughs> regardless this you've this seen this pretty much the entire map now it's not good it's really yeah. not good let's transition to hideout let's transition to hideout no, Hideout's not my new gender. It's um just the new map. Again, I want you to look at the layout of this map and tell me, like seriously tell me with a straight face that God has not abandoned us as a <laughs> yeah, it looks like the chat GPT made the map though. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, species on this planet. Chad GPT, what is this, Chad dude? GPT, it's not Chad three GPT. lanes. It's some weird amalgamation of crates. It looks like shipment if some drunk guy with Alzheimer's made it by memory or something. Now, I, I will say this. Again, there's a lot of verticality, which highlights the issue of just climbing in this game. It's so slow. I don't know why it's so slow. I'm just going to do like a little parkour around the map. It might actually look bigger. On this is exactly why I rather smaller maps, guys. This is exactly why. I, I know different tastes, different strokes for different folks, and uh, it's all subjective. So if you want bigger maps, hey, that's I, I hear you. I hear you, though. But, for, uh, but I would say for me, I rather smaller maps. And this is probably why I'm enjoying, even though I'm like one kill, one death. One kill sometimes would get a friendly UAV online, and you guys know, right? I'm, I'm brown, right? So I can also like, hey, yeah, friendly BBC inbound. I can also sometimes light a BBC out too. Friendly BBC inbound, and you know, I get a friendly UAV online and all that in the game. And I call it out. I call it out, right? So... But that's about it! But that's about it though! No. I'm I'm not getting triple nukes in the game like some of the YouTubers have been getting recently. 
You know, recently some YouTubers are, of course, you guys know the two boxing deal, right? Circus have been two boxing. Now, if you two box and you actually let everybody know that you two box and you don't are and and you're not like, hey, I get triple triple nuclear. I am really good at the game. If you don't do that crap and you two box and you tell people how it is, hey, like yeah, right, like yeah, I, I, it's not okay. I okay, I hear you, brother. But if you're like two boxing and you're telling people you don't two box. That's like a different kind of low, right? That's like, what are we talking about, bro? At that point, bro, I right, bro, you gotta go, okay? At that point, <laughs> you gotta go, bro. You gotta go, you gotta go, okay? Because there are suckers out there, when I say suckers, I mean YouTubers, streamers, they're two boxing. Most of them are like that, like the homie face swag as well, right? They have been. And they tell, they turn around and they tell people, it's natural. It's not. <laughs> It's not natural, man. It's not natural. They get triple nukes, double nukes, nuclear every other game, or out of three games they would get they would get nukes. That's not normal with the current thick ass skill based magic and meta, bruh. You feel what I'm saying? It don't work like that, guys. It don't work like that. On the minimap, it's pretty small and it's pretty redundant. I find it to be about the same size as something like Subsonic. Okay. Maybe even payback, maybe a little bit bigger than payback. Ooh. But it okay. begs the question, do we need another small map, you know, in regular 6v6? Like, this is the entire map. Uh, we've already ran across it. It's done. This is see it. I'm back I'm in saying. my spawn. See what I'm saying, bro? Let's see what I'm saying. Guys, as a Call of Duty player, if you think something is slightly better, <laughs> don't ask for something completely different. Just simply put, like, don't ever... If you don't like Infinity Tard, Infinity Ward, right? Don't ask for those type of games from them ever. Because then you're going to start getting crap like this. That's the whole map right there. Guys, this season <laughs> depended, depended <laughs> on maps being oh good. Oh my goodness, yeah. And the they maps have failed are... us yet again. I, I, I don't know what to say other than these don't even feel like maps. They feel like battlegrounds from Warzone that are just shoehorn. I, I think they genuinely are. Because these suckers only care about Warzone. This is why zombies, I have to agree, it's better than last year, guys, uh, credit where it's due. But it's not as good as Black Ops 3 Zombies, nor Black Ops 2 Zombies. If you played those games back in the days, you know what I'm talking about. You have the reference, you know what you can compare it to. But if you're a new Call of Duty player or you picked up Call of Duty within the last five years, Zombies this year is probably amazing to you and honestly, I'm happy for you uh, Even for me like I played a couple of games and I enjoyed my time for what it is But it's not the same man. It is not the same zombies back then was just insane, bro Like uh, uh, the story was amazing the gameplay man gameplay I feel like this year is good as well. Don't get me wrong, but zombies felt like zombies, but the reason it don't it, it has wars on uh, uh, aspects to it and it, the reason it don't feel like this older black ops 2 black ops 3 zombies is because like they don't care about it the way they used to back in the days now they got warzone and they make one giant map cut sections from it like tick, 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 and make multiplayer maps from it so i wouldn't be shocked if this map that we're getting in this is from warzone that's why i don't feel like a multiplayer map right probably horned in this entire game does not even feel like a Call of Duty multiplayer shooter, it feels like a leveling simulator, a brain rot headshot progression simulator. Like, I, I wanna ask you guys something seriously here. All right, seriously, I wanna ask you this, and I want you to answer it truthfully. If they took out the camo grind in this game, if they took out prestige in this game, if they took out leveling up even in this game, if they took out the basic progression paths in this particular game, would you honestly play it? Knowing everything you know from my videos, would you honestly play it? I know I have some people that play the game and actually like it. Would you play it if those systems were removed? Mm. Are you a fan? Uh, hard to say. Hard to say, though. Hard to say. Like, even though I'm enjoying the game, I, I feel like that if there wasn't any of these uh, camel grind or none that, none like that, I would still be playing, but probably, like... I mean, nowadays, let me tell you, like, I play for an hour and catch up on the, uh, on the YouTube videos, listen to podcasts within... Within that time, uh, at point one point five speed, sometimes two x speed, right? And I just, just, just watch all of the videos like that. It's just faster that way, right? It, hard to say, hard to say though, hard to say. I think if there was no none like that, no headshots thing, no camel grind, none of the progression, no prestige, uh, probably like uh, initially would play it, but then you know now we're how many uh, two weeks in, something like that. 
Then I would probably play like once a week or something like that. Fan of this game, mechanically speaking, from a gameplay perspective, or are you simply an addict to the fucking progression paths in this game? I want you to answer that as truthful as you possibly can, please. Because initially, yes, I would grind it, but then probably like once a week. It depends. It really depends. It really depends. My God, is this multiplayer the worst fucking thing I have ever played? I'm sorry. As far as I'm concerned, this is the worst Call of Duty multiplayer of all time. I'd rather play Vanguard. I'd rather play Modern Warfare Roman numeral 2. And I'm not even kidding. I'm not kidding. That game had better maps. That game had better maps. Less doors, I think. Yeah, you couldn't move on it, but it had better maps. Like, it's a trade-off. It's basically crappy, just in a different way. I'm just, I'm, I'm confused. Vanguard, at the very least, had some decent maps. Had okay, you know what? Hey, hey, whoa, hey, 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 tranquilo, papi. Okay, Vanguard, that's insane, bro. Look up mental, <laughs> mental hospital near you, blame truth. Come on, man. <laughs> maybe, maybe he's not capping in terms of the map design. Maybe he's not. But I, I mean, Modern Warfare 2022, okay, I, I, I get it. I get it, like, why you want to compare it to that. Modern Warfare 2022... Yeah, a little better in terms of the maps. And after all, right, like Modern Warfare 2022 was the game that introduced that a a a a a from I honestly understand. Guys, check out this video on the screen because the homie swag actually ended up was ended up getting caught. He called Activision right on the stream and he asked them to be for him to be put on the Diddy list though. Check it out. It's insane. We got a clip off it too. Check it out and I'll see you right there.